too fundamental. Steve, what are you hearing from, you're over in Berlin now, um, what are you hearing from Europeans? Because they actually, uh, this never should have been uh, a story about us and China alone. Th this has always seemed to me a story of, of both the uh, Europeans and our Asian allies. It is why I supported TPP um, and why I, I did oppose the steel and, and um, aluminum tariffs on Europe. I think we all needed to line up shoulder to shoulder on this. It should not be us alone, because if you talk to the Europeans, and I'm sure you have, they have the exact same problems we have. What are you hearing over there? What are they saying about our strategy? See, but I think Trump's strategy here is working. These bilateral deals with Korea, increased defense spending, a bilateral deal with Japan, now a bilateral deal is going to get into with the EU. It's here in Germany. Their business model of advanced precision manufacturing is what's going to be gutted first. Yeah. They are at the tip of the sea. When you look at Made in China 2025, it's the great, you mentioned in your article, Kuka or Kuka, the yeah. great robotics company, is the centerpiece that they've taken. It's Germans, Germany's business model. When I talk to both politicians, think tank people, and business people, they understand the storm is right over the horizon. They're going to be the tip of the spear. They're really going to be, I think, the first industrial power that's really gutted. And the Europeans understand. But you've got to remember something. The EU were just like Hillary Clinton and these people. The elites in our country, Tom, and you know this, they thought the rise of China on this business model of China was like the second law of thermodynamics. It was some physical reality we just had to accept. Thucydides' trap says we're the declining power. They're the rising power. What Donald Trump said is you've got it wrong. We're the, not only rising power, we're the dominant power. And we're going to reform the world along lines of free market democratic capitalism. And here's how it's going to be. You've got to break, you've got to, you've got to lance the boil. And that's what Donald Trump is doing right now. I think our European allies are going to come around. I think they're going to individually come around to this because I think they see the wisdom and the toughness of what Trump's doing. Steve, it's always been clear to me the Chinese wanted to negotiate with Mnuchin and not Lighthizer. Uh, because uh, I think Lighthizer is uh, someone who knows every carpet the Chinese have sold us over the last 30 years. Um, how do you think that will play out in the administration? I think you're dead spot on. I think Bob Light, I look at Pre President Trump from my M&A days at Goldman Sachs, is Trump is like the chairman, CEO of the company in a massive bet the company uh, M&A, and Lighthizer is the Skadnarp's partner, that's your deal lawyer. Bob Lighthizer there's no gap between Lighthizer and President Trump. Lighthizer is the guy that does the execution. That contract, when people actually end up seeing it, I think we'll see how thoughtful it is, how well-crafted it is, how it actually works for the Chinese. It takes care of a lot of their corruption issues. This is about transparency. It's about uh, accountability. It's about real-time monitoring. And it's about enforcement. What Lighthizer did with Lee Hood, and Lee Hood, people should understand, is also one of the greatest men in the world, I think. He's a reformer in yeah. China. He understands understands what has to happen to their system. These two have worked together for nine months. It was the Hawks. It was after the Belt Road Initiative Forum in China, when the Hawks, like Wang Qishan and, uh, Wang Qishan and others, got around Xi and said, hey, why do we need the Americans? We got a tough, this is nothing more than a port treaty from the 19th century. This, was, this is what started the 200 years of humiliation. We have to shut this down now. So that red line they sent around was basically say, we're not going to take any of the things that Lighthizer and Li He have negotiated for nine months, the basic architecture of the deal. That's why this is the defining moment. And every president beforehand, Clinton, Bush, and Obama, have all blinked. Trump didn't blink. He could have cut a deal that made him look like a hero. He said, we're not doing this. We're not going to be retraded. This is what I need. Lighthizer, you told me you're going to get this. Let's, let's just power through this. Steve, I, I yeah. want to talk about lancing the boil, Steve. Um, I understand the long term, the, the goal of this. I actually agree with the goal of that myself as well. But overlay politics on this. I mean, if, if lancing the boil causes an economic downturn, if lancing the boil causes a, a decline in the stock market of more than 10 percent and it's around election time, what happens to the resolve? First off, I don't think that's going to happen, but I think you realize with Joe Biden launching in Pennsylvania, this is going to be the debate. The American workers, the men, the men and women that saw those factories leave, the American farmers understand these are patriots. They put the national interests of the country before their own personal interests. They've seen the elites totally do this for themselves. They understand they finally, they have a voice in the room that's looking out for them and looking out for their children and grandchildren. This is China's business model is an existential threat to the industrial democracies, the United States, Germany, England, Japan, Korea, all of us. It has to be done now. There may be some short-term pain. 
Okay, but Donald Trump and I think others understand we have to power through this. Now, it turns out that the numbers on Trump's plan are actually better. The 3.2 percent growth is driven by the decline in exports uh, from China. The, uh, the import prices are falling, right? The employment, a lot of it's tied to this. So right now, this is working. I happen to think, and I think Trump believes, and the people around Trump believe it's going to continue to work. But I got to tell you, he's not going to back down from this. This is the core of why he's president of the United States. This is the core of American decline. This is the turnaround of America. This is bringing manufacturing jobs back. I believe those citizens in those northern industrial states will say, hey, this guy finally stood up to him, started bringing the supply chain back, and I'm with him. Steve, this is a... Uh I don't know if we'll do this again. I'd like to. I'll, I'll let you know next time we, we do this, Tom. And Tom will be back. Maybe you'll be back. I don't know if we'll have a great shot like that of the Brandenburg Gate. But uh, this, is, uh, this has been compelling, and, and we appreciate it. And um, uh, we wish you well and safe travel.